Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest release of Tails, the Amnesic Incognito Live system that's all about privacy and anonymity. The team behind Tails has just rolled out version 6.6, .6, and there's a lot to unpack. So, whether you're a longtime user or just curious about what's new, stick around as we explore the key updates and improvements in Tails 6.6. .6. So, Tails 6.6 .6 is here, and it's packed with updates that make it even more robust, especially if you're running it on newer hardware. This version brings some significant improvements in terms of hardware support, bug fixes, and user experience. But let's break it down step by step. First up, hardware support. One of the most exciting aspects of Tails 6.6 .6 is its improved compatibility with newer hardware. This means better support for modern graphics cards, Wi-Fi adapters, and other components that might have been tricky to get working in previous versions. For those who rely on Tails as their go-to privacy tool, this is a big deal because it ensures that your system can keep up with the latest tech without sacrificing security. Next, let's talk about persistent storage. If you're not familiar, persistent storage in Tails allows you to save files and settings across reboots, which is crucial for anyone who needs a balance between privacy and convenience. With Tails 6.6, .6, this feature has been fine-tuned. For instance, the maximum waiting time to unlock the persistent storage has been increased to 4 minutes. This might not sound like much, but it can be a lifesaver if you're dealing with a slow USB stick or an encrypted storage device. And no more freezing when you open a link to the documentation. Yes, they fixed that too. Plus, they've made the creation of persistent storage more reliable, especially when starting tales from a USB stick for the first time. Another neat upgrade is in the additional software app. Previously, some users experienced crashes when trying to install virtual packages. Those headaches should be gone now. Also, if you use multiple network interfaces, you'll be happy to hear that Tails 6.6 .6 reintroduces the ability to enable more than one at a time. This gives you greater flexibility in how you connect to the internet, whether it's through Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or other means. Of course, no Tails update would be complete without mentioning the Tor network. Tails 6.6 .6 addresses an issue that some users faced when connecting to Tor using default bridges making the whole process smoother. On top of that, Tails has updated Tor Browser to version 13.5.2 and Mozilla Thunderbird to 115.14.0. So, you're getting the latest and greatest in terms of privacy-focused browsing and secure email communication. Under the hood, Tails 6.6 .6 continues to be built on Debian Linux 12 Bookworm, ensuring a stable and secure foundation. It's also powered by the Linux 6.1 LTS kernel, which will be supported until December 2026. This long-term support is crucial for maintaining a secure environment over the next few years. So, there you have it. Tails 6.6 .6 is a solid update that makes this already powerful tool even better. Whether you're updating an existing installation or starting fresh, you can download Tails 6.6 .6 from the official website as an ISO or USB image. And if you haven't tried Tails yet, now's a great time to dive in and see what it can do for your privacy and anonymity. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content on privacy, security, and all things tech. See you in the next one.